A long time ago, in a town called Nazareth, there lived a young woman named Mary and a young carpenter called Joseph. Mary of Nazareth was very special because God had chosen her to be the mother of his only son. God sent the angel Gabriel to tell Mary that she would be having a baby and that he would be the son of God. Mary, you are the chosen one. Soon you will have a baby boy. He will be very special. He will be the son of God and, must, and you must call him Jesus. Soon after the angel's visit, Herod, the ruler of the land, gave an order. By order of the emperor, everyone must return to the place they were born to pay a special tax. Joseph was worried. He was born in a place called Bethlehem. It was a long way away and Mary's baby was due any time. Joseph and Mary knew they had to go and so they prepared for the journey. Mary rode to Bethlehem on a donkey. Now remember, Mary was about to have a baby. So it was a very long and dangerous journey. Mary and Joseph were very grateful to their donkey who carried Mary so bravely and so carefully. Thank you, little donkey. You're welcome. It took many days to reach Bethlehem. When they arrived, Mary was so tired. They needed to find somewhere to stay. Let's go and see if there's any inns that have room for us. But the town was crowded with lots of other travellers and every inn that they went to was full. Give me this one has space. Uh, hello, do you have any space in your inn? Um, me, um, Wife yeah, is pregnant and she's having a really important baby. I'm so sorry we're all full up. There's no room for tonight. Ah, I must I'm be sorry. a busy time. Sorry. It's alright. Hope this one has room. Hi, do you have any room in your inn? Sorry, not today we don't. Oh, it's a shame. Sorry. Eventually, seeing how tired they both looked, one kind innkeeper took pity on them. Time to Hello, do you have any room in your inn? We don't have any room in the oh. inn, but I do have a stable. It's full of animals and hay, but you're welcome to use it if you like. Yeah, that would be lovely. Okay, thanks. yeah, come on in. During the night, Mary gave birth to baby Jesus. She wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger full of hay. Nearby on a hillside, overlooking the town, some shepherds were watching over their sheep. As they did so, a very bright light came into the sky. The light was an angel sent by God. Do not be afraid, I have good news. The Son of God has been born. You'll find him in the stable in Bethlehem. The shepherds were very excited and they went to Bethlehem to find Jesus. And when they found Jesus, they were filled with joy. They told Mary and Joseph all about the angel in the sky. This must be the Son of God. The angel told us he'll be the saviour of the world. A long way away in the east, Three wise kings who studied the stars saw a new, very bright star shining in the sky. They knew that this meant a great ruler had been born. The three wise men decided to go and find the baby. Thinking that the baby king would be in the palace, they went to see King Herod. They came to see the new baby king. New king? You tell me there's a new king? What do you mean? 
This is terrible news. I am the king. There is no new king here. Please go and find him and return to me to tell me where he is so that I may honour and bring him gifts. Although Herod had told the wise men he wanted to take gifts to the newborn king, he was actually very angry as he thought that this new king might take away his throne. And at night, he had terrible dreams. He was so worried and so jealous about the arrival of the new king. The wise men followed the star to the stable in Bethlehem. They found Jesus lying in a manger. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. I bring you this gift of gold. I give you this gift of frankincense. I give you this gift of myrrh. All through the night, local people visited the baby with small gifts and presents. I give you these markers so you can draw a picture for your mummy. I bring you my favourite teddy bear so you can cuddle it at night. <laughs> I bring your football. You can play football with your daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let us not forget what Christmas is all about. Let us not forget that it is Jesus' birthday this Christmas. Let us all try and keep a clean heart so that Jesus can be born there too. And we ask him now and always to be the center of our lives.